Hi, this is Brandon I. Brooks, Managing Editor with the LA Sentinel Newspaper and also the LA Watch Times. We're here at the 59th Annual Grammy Award Red Carpet. I have a treat for you today. I'm going to let these brothers introduce themselves, and y'all going to know who they are in a second. How you doing? They're Grammy nominated, and they're here today, and they're going to tell you why. Grammy winners. Grammy winners, even better. Wow, wow, boom. But that, look, that's the way we do it. So we have Grammy winners here. Mr. Don Cheeto, tell us, sir, about who you're here with and, and, and what you won today for. This is the inimical Robert Glasper and Mr. Steve Berkowitz. Uh, we won for Miles Ahead album, Best Soundtrack. So uh, we're, we're very happy to be here with this and represent it. Mr. Glasper, tell me about this, this collaboration for this film, very historic film, bringing it to life. Tell me about the process and collaborate with, with Mr. Cheetah. Yeah, it was awesome. He actually tweeted me and, uh, <laughs> and asked me to be a part of it. I was like, sure. Then we talked and it was just great. He had a, the movie's amazing, you know what I mean? So just dealing with, with him with the movie and the, and the music as well because you learn how to play the trumpet. You know what I mean? So that's it's pretty, you know, for that. But between these two guys, my first film ever, you know what I mean? So it's a learning process for me, and they're showing me the ropes and stuff. So it's just a great honor. So. Steve, now you tell me, this is a historic movie in and itself, but the soundtrack was just as pivotal to this to the movie. Tell us about it, how, how it all came together. Well, it was beautiful. I've worked with Miles's catalog for 30 years, but to follow Don and his work, and then what Robert brought to it, and to take what they did and bring it forward as this album was a great thing to do. If there's more Miles music, it's a better world. While I have you in my midst, tell us about the role and you taking it on and really putting this movie out. You were all, you know, all hands on deck from the music, you know, behind the scenes. How important was it for you to put this story out and tell the story of Miles Davis? Well, we're very fortunate to have the family to, uh, you know, give us the, the permission to use all the music and use the catalog and really do what we wanted to do. So it was a great honor and we felt like we had a, a, a big responsibility in that regard. So we just feel very, very happy that it started with the music and here we are full circle ending with the music and, and being recognized by the, by the Grammys for it. So we're, we're again, we're, we're just over the moon. Well, I'll have you two here, the music man, here at the Grammys. What's coming up next, Robert? You know, Steve, I know you guys probably got some things going on. Tell us. Um, I've been working with Herbie Hancock on his new record, co-producing it with some other people. Um, and I'm working on Common's new record, the rapper Common, working with him. So there's more, more production stuff for me. How about you, Steve? Uh, I continue to work on Miles' catalog. I won another Grammy earlier today for the Bob Dylan box set as well. And there's more of that and some other new music I'm working on too. The Lost Brothers from Belfast. And last question for you, anything coming up next that you know Los Angeles audience should be aware about? I know you, you, know, you had to put this film out as a big project, but you're always working on something, Don. So what's coming up? I'm in the lab right now writing, so you know, hopefully we'll have something uh, to, to, to get out there pretty soon. And uh, directing a pilot in the summer and, and just, you know, just keep all the irons in the fire. That's great. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Grammy winners, uh, Don, Robert, Steve, thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you.